Hey, what is going on ladies and the gentlemen? My name is Corbett and I'll be your host today for Europa Universalis 4. Welcome back to episode 17 of our Golden Century slash Spain World Conquest as Castile. Today the uh, the aim of the game here is going to be actually forming Spain, uh, but on top of that someone mentioned that Austria currently has a regent that is of the de Trastamara. Um, line of course so although this says I only have to have a royal marriage I think it, they also happen to have an heir so I don't really think that's gonna work out to be honest but uh, apparently the Dostamidas have also made their way over to Brunswick uh, it's also on Poland's throne and of course Burgundy and Naples Naples actually became a dictatorship interestingly enough um, so as a dictatorship, they might actually just revert back to a monarchy upon monarch death, which is interesting. I don't know if they'll still have the Distrastamara line, but if they do, then we're back in business. Uh, funny enough. I could also just wait for France to, um, not care enough, because, you know, France is at war with England. And then I could, uh, change Naples' government form back to a uh, monarchy and then PU them. So, I mean, there's also that. Um, anyways, we have our business down in Central Africa to take care of. And a couple of cores to be finishing off, of course. There we go. Uh, right, I was actually going to use those on my subject. Try to make sure he has a little bit of religious cohesion. Uh, peace offer? No. I don't think so. There you go, your ships. There we go. Uh, you're dealing with your Separatists, which is great. Alright, that's cool. Let's have to figure out where these guys went. Where did you go? I would assume somewhere down south. Or over here. Makes perfect sense. Uh, ooh. Warriors do not read books, unfortunate. There we go, get rid of those guys. Move into here. Uh, I'll get there on time. I think. That is 20,000. That's more than I had uh, planned for. Am I still going to win this? Probably because your tech is inferior. Okay, never mind. You've made it out. Um, so. That's done. I have to go and get rid of you. You guys are going to move into here. We're just going to keep going. See if I can get his allies out super easily. Uh, I lose my core and cede it to Portugal? <laughs> no, I, I don't think so. Yeah, sorry there, bud. But, um... I kind of fought for that province for a reason, so... I don't feel like giving it away... so easily. We're at 93%. I'm wondering if I really care about these guys, because they'd give me, like, a... tiny little bit of money, maybe? Like, let's, let's see what you could give me. You could give me 60 ducats. And you could give me 35. So, for 95 ducats, am I really going to keep going through this war? Yeah, probably. That's actually not a small amount of money. So, might as well. Also, I can break their alliances, which is cool. Don't really see a problem with doing that. Come on, get back here. Uh, unite the colonies. Calabar. I would love for you to go faster. That would be amazing. Um, nothing for that. Just need to tear, tear you guys down a little. Another core. Cool. Do I have any more cores left? Just one. Alright, and then we have to core this, obviously. I don't want to make sure you don't die, but you're probably going to die anyway. Can I stop that from happening? Uh, yes, if I use a general that is assigned to this guy. The 3-1. He might be able to live. There you go. It was enough to scare him off a little bit. There we go. Get rid of you guys. And come over here and clean this up a little. Uh, Kikonja and Kazembe. Both of you are right there. Easy. Let's convert our subject. Oh, right. And I also got an extra merchant because I added the Cape Coast into here. So we have this guy pushing, and I would like to move 
Well, there's almost no trade here. What can I even move? Moving this into here, this into here. Um, I suppose I could move this. It looks like Tapuya is back at it again. Destroying the colonial nations. I'm just going to have to full annex them at some point, honestly. Um, can I fabricate on... Yeah, because I have exploration so I can fabricate on overseas, I think. I don't know if they have to be adjacent, though, do they? No, that wouldn't make sense. We're going to find out. I'm pretty sure I don't have to. I don't think they have to be overseas, but yeah, you're pushing into here, which is fine. The Caribbean is moving into mainly Bordeaux and Sepia, because no one cares yet. And I could push... Push a slight amount of trade through Timbuktu up into Safi, but I don't have much of Safi in the first place. So maybe just this, honestly. If not much else. Uh, as well for Kilwa, I would like to steal your maps of East Africa. Thank you. So now I know about all of Africa, except for this little part down here. Uh, I'm going to do the same to Ajuran as well. But now that this is complete, and we have pretty good visibility, might try and purchase something off of, I don't know, Gujarat or something. Preferably in the Coromandel trade node. Okay, I'm going to send the one artillery over there. We're just going to clean up these guys real quick. Let's go with you. Um... Actually, can I piece someone out first? Oh, getting attacked. That's not good. There we go. Ah, uh, Kazembe is this guy. So all I need to do is stand on Kazembe's capital, and that should be fine. Uh, let's go for... How am I making this much money? Because the dude died, I guess, really? Was he that expensive? Half cost, rate efficiency, then. If I'm apparently making money, then sure. Okay, also, uh, Austria's war is done. I could roll marry them. I don't know if I can claim throne, though. Yeah, I didn't think so. I just did something stupid. <laughs> I wanted to see if uh, if it was if the tooltip was actually correct or if it was lying to me, and I figure uh, you know, as it figures, they're lying, of course. But I don't know. Who knows? We might get lucky and the air dies or something. Although it's a Habsburg, they never get unlucky. Anyways, uh, as for other people that I could possibly pu, I think well, it's Poland, obviously, with the Trastamara, and Austria is also putting a the, the Trastamara on their throne, which is funny. Um, lots of those. The Trastamaras everywhere. Naples is going to revert back to a monarchy, and maybe I can PU them there, but... Uh, yeah. Not much other than that. This guy's dead. Let's go for... Regular cost, dude. Zembe? I can't take anything from you. But 35 ducats is nothing compared to your withdrawal from the war. And same thing with this next guy. My war exhaustion's too high to actually care very much. Uh, we're also gonna cap on military, but let's see if I... Yes, I do grab that. Great. That's really good stuff. So, while I unfortunately can't take your land or vassalize or anything... I could vassalize, but I'm not going to, because what's the point? Uh, instead, I'll just take your money, I think. And your alliance. And that alliance. And that rivalry. Actually, no, I don't care about that rivalry. I'll just take your money and stuff. Uh, then we can come over here. And I'm going to try my best to actually let him live. Oh, let's not forget. Tapping on military. I could, of course, spend said military points on uh, the Franciscans. Or, I guess, local unrest and a bit of manpower in each province. In fact, that's actually worth a lot. Every province in the state gets one manpower. Which is five manpower. That's actually a lot. That's actually high value. Now that I think of it. 
That's a high uh, manpower value for the cost. That's actually remarkably good. Huh. Okay. Should have started with that, maybe. Uh, another conversion. Let's go and help you out a little. No, oh, you guys got stuck. Okay, there we go. Alright, Congo. I will take all this. And of course, I'm just going to take as much as possible. Thank you very much. Someone's upset. Uh, Tafelelt, because my... Um, something, for sure. But here, placate. So you guys are angry, but what are you really going to do about it? Oh, maybe I should have snaked further in so I could invade Lunda as well. That's true, that might have been a better idea. Oh well. Uh, I'm going to want some... Institutional spread, but not yet. Floating batteries is fine for now, I think. Alright, that's cool. I'm just waiting for you guys to walk off of my land. Or, you know, to occupy it. Despite no longer being my rebels, that's also cool. Jeez, that's expensive. Fez is six ducats a month? Christ, that cost. Literally. Because I'm playing as Catholic. Anyway. Um, what's next for us? I want to get to, uh, I want to get to max, uh, legitimacy. And I want to form Spain. Also, I wouldn't mind going through Diplo. Is that a reputation or relation? Reputation, right? Yes. And chance of a new heir, which is, um, cool, I guess. Not super useful, but nice, I suppose. It's not bad to have. Okay, can you guys go any further? Uh, yes, the Southeast Pacific, all the way over here. Pretty far, actually. Now, the biggest question of the day. Can I charter something? Ah, no, not yet. Not yet. My, yeah, my range doesn't even reach here. I have to wait for this to be done. Or, sorry, for this to be done. Which is relatively soon. Record that. Peasants' War for England, rip. Hmm. When you die, then there's just a regular regency for Ferdinand. I see. Okay. So as long as I keep the highest prestige, then... I should be able to PU people a lot. Improve new tariffs? Of course I'll take that. Why wouldn't I? Also, speaking of estates, I'll be taking that. Thank you. I'll be dealing with all this separatism real quick. You guys, it doesn't really matter. I could upgrade you for 710. Jeez, that's a lot. Okay, maybe not then. Maybe not. I would maybe like to improve the economy slightly in any way I can. Put in a couple of taxation areas. And a bit of trade. Truce with Morocco is done. I could invade you. I should invade you. I will invade you, actually. Do I have unrest anywhere around here? A little bit, yeah. But hopefully, um... Well, <laughs> hopefully not enough. Because I'm going to be going over here. And giving more provinces to my vassal. Man, my governing capacity is already starting to, uh... Yeah, not look so good. Hmm. War and spy detection? Yeah, we don't care about that too much. I also got an extra diplomat. What was that from? Uh, right, that would be from the first diplo idea. Of course, that would make sense. So can I... Okay, I can fabricate here. That's what I wanted to know. Um, so... Highest dev, dev I guess, fabricate. I'm going to declare war on them and then take all the land. The only problem is that... Now that I think of it, I actually can't. I can't do that, because this is a subject subject, so I would create a second Brazil, which has some advantages. Well, it used to have advantages in, in that it could give me an extra merchant, but these days you don't need an extra merchant from colonies, you don't need to use that. So there really isn't a purpose. Now that you really think about it, you know? It really, it really isn't a purpose. 
Okay, legitimacy is slowly taken up. That's cool. It's just going to take a few more years. I also need to insult someone or embargo someone. I need to insult France or something. Tell them that they're stinky. There you go. Alright, how is France doing? Ah, uh, they have a de Valois. Okay, interesting. England has Lancaster. And when your de Valois dies, uh, you have a royal marriage with Mantua. I would have thought that, a, that Provence would get a personal union because you have share a dynasty, but I guess since you have a royal marriage now. Interesting. I'm going to improve relations with Naples too because I'm going to claim their throne. Uh, root out syncretism or let it run its course? Well, we're getting missionary strength for sure. Absolutely. Uh, I've just about full converted my subject, right? Yeah. Doing some good conversions over there. I don't care about your alliance, Austria. I really care about your prospects as a uh, future junior partner. Yeah, we've explored a little bit. This is getting close to done. You guys are going to deal with all separatism, so that's cool. Hit the wrong button, damn it. There we go. Okay. And you. War. Begin. Now. Nothing to explore, so we'll just crush some fleets with it. And hopefully my personal unions will just come down and uh, destroy the rest of it for me. In fact, I don't think I have to do much here. My subjects should basically take care of the entire thing. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, I could grab some yearly legitimacy, but it really is just two years. I'd rather take the prestige to uh, decay slower. In fact, if you have Aragon here, and we have Tafilalt here, do I really need to be here? The only thing we're missing is Portugal, who's probably off in the New World somewhere. Can't imagine where. Oh, there's England doing their thing. Um, Portugal's probably, like, over here. Uh, somewhere. With some random troops in the middle of nowhere. Um, Congolese. Okay, that's fine. We have guys there. I think I'm just gonna siege this and then leave. Let my subjects do all the sieging for me. Because I really don't have to do much. Except Aragon, who's deciding to take a, uh, a different route. They do, of course, have to get rid of Jared. There we go, that's done. So I think I'm just going to, uh, pick up these guys and go somewhere else, actually. Might come back down here to get rid of the rest of these separatists. But that'll be it. Might want to declare war on someone like Kano or, or Mosi. Or, say, like... Joloff or something. Just so I can keep uh, putting some pressure over there. Okay, this colony's done? Yes, beautiful. That's what I love to see. I would love to colonize right here. In fact, I think I will. And with high ferocity, high aggressiveness, and 3,000 natives, I'm going to want 3,000 at least of my own there. Split off 4,000, so... There we go, 15... 30-ish, uh, we've just gotten to the uh, East Indies. Isn't that great? Extra quick. Alright, convert that. Uh, Congolese, but that's fine. Easily dealt with. And more natives, but that's fine. Tagban, yeah, see, that's what I thought, that's what I thought was gonna happen, just like that. Just gonna have you clean up the rest of this. There we go. Okay, and then you guys are gonna move down here. I'm just gonna send the transports over, I think. So you guys can actually come down here. And then the transports. We're gonna get this guy. They're gonna move down here. How are you guys doing? Uh, just fine. Remember, I can't give Aragon any more land. Or else that'll be it for me. Actually, this journey is going to take less than a year. I'll just move you down here for now. 
Okay, you guys are doing fine. I could actually invade Mulsi right now, and there's not really a reason not to. My overextension can probably handle a single province. Okay, any more unrest here? A little bit, yeah. But, uh, we're doing fine up here. I can give all of this to Seuss, I think. Maybe a bit to Portugal, actually. I wouldn't mind giving some of it to Portugal. It doesn't really matter to me who grabs it. Well, I have claims on this, actually, so I, maybe I should. Um, dictatorship. I've lost my change government form, so... We're banking on this dictatorship. Which will turn into a monarchy, but... We have to wait for that, uh... 42-year-old king to die first. I'm really hoping for a, uh... A problem with, uh, Fran oh, not Franz, but Ferdinand von Habsburg over here. If he dies, what happens? Uh, on a monarch death... Then, in theory... There's a regency for Juan de Trastamara. Which would be my heir, maybe? Uh, I don't really know what would happen. It's like the same thing with Burgundy, like, who knows, something's gonna happen eventually, but who knows what, honestly. Who knows what. Okay, you guys are cool. Um, I think now would be the time to do that journey, wouldn't it? Yep. Okay, that's cool. And we'll full annex this dude. Right, conversions, and we're at 100% uh, legitimacy, so once we finish both of these wars, then that'll be great. Everything will be done. Um, I'm actually going to get Jared out of this right now. Get rid of your alliance with anyone down south. Give me some money. I could always use some money. And then Aragon can simply focus on uh, getting rid of you. Alright, uh, next tech. Of course, I'll take that. And we just have to catch up in Diplo. Am I focused? I am focused on Diplo. That's great. Should I get some... Yeah, I should definitely get some of that uh, inflation reduction. Damn, I have a lot of inflation. Holy, that's a lot of inflation. Jeez, okay. Um, I didn't drop you onto there, did I? Not in time. <laughs> that's... Ah, oh, how unlucky that they so quickly got there. How unlucky. Oh well, that's fine. I can drop you there. I'm going to annex this for no issues. Thank you. You're a fetishist, so no one cares. And then once you're there, then you can go back home. Yep, yeah, there we go. You're fine where you are. We're just going to have you move to here. Alright, Aragon's fighting. Nice. That should be exactly what we need. Uh, mill access is totally cool. Yeah, sure. Uh, ships are dying. You should get there on time. In fact, just stay here. You know what? Just... You've done enough. You can just rest. Ooh, okay. Let's see what we get here. Sounds like a great idea, or... Arrangements with the locals are working just fine. The Kano slave trade. Does that give me anything particularly good? Moshi gets something. Province of Moshi. Over here. But it is low dev. I mean, I guess it'll benefit from, like, absolutely nothing, actually. I don't think that gives me anything. Um, local trade power and two production. So technically, I suppose, is actually a net benefit. Oh, there goes the timer. There we go. And our truce with the Ottomans is actually up, meaning I need to declare on them immediately. So I understand that you have your own issues to take care of, but I think I'd rather just bump that up and bring you over here so that I can force vassalize the Ottomans before the Mamluks go and clean them up. In fact, better for me if I vassalize the Ottomans while the Mamluks are at war. Then it's a defensive on my side and I get Poland involved. Uh, maybe Poland involved, we'll see. I have to say, that is actually one of the thickest Polands I think I've seen for this early in the game. 
That is a crazy thick Poland. Jeez, that Poland is thick. Oof. Okay, you guys are making your way over. Uh, I'll just bring you up into here for now, actually, so that you can group up with the rest of the ships. And we're going to finish off this battle and this war. Uh, can I not convert anything here? Oh, I'm still coring it all. Of course, that would make sense. Uh, I'm starting to get a little worried about that governing capacity, I'm not going to lie. I also want that extra relations, so that I don't feel the pain from that royal marriage. We've lost excommunicated ruler, which means... Which means... Which means what, actually? Uh, yeah, what does that mean? This guy is still here. It's still a dictatorship. I expect a monarchy soon. Uh, you know, sooner rather than later, maybe. That would be kind of nice. Uh, whenever you feel like it. Anyways, let's move up into here. Get that auto transport, but we can move the explorer back over to here. Don't mind that a little. Explore in the eastern Indian Ocean. I don't know what direction you're going in. You're taking the long way. Oh, that's fine. That's perfectly okay. Peace from Morocco at a 90%. That depends. Would you accept a 100? Wow, you actually wouldn't. Okay. Uh, didn't expect that. So, if I take these... That's like the Wurgle stuff, right? So... That's cool. If I take extra, that's not Wurgle, and everyone starts to hate me a little bit. But there's really no difference from... from now and before. So... If I do something like this, where I give it all to Tafilouts... Well, actually, what if I... Yeah, I want you to take this, and I want you to take that. I'm also going to give this to Tafilelt. So I want to take a few provinces and then give the rest of them to Tafilelt. If that's cool. Actually, I could just assign them once I take them. Isn't that right? Yeah, so I could do this. There's 105 aggressive expansion. I could finish it off like that. The Mamluks don't get involved. The Mamluks, Mamluks don't really care right now, but the problem is that I want to... sort of want to vassalize them, you know? Just a little bit. But, so how much AE is that? Probably like 20. So I don't want to uh, enrage the Mamluks too much. Alright, how about how about this then? How about I give you these provinces? I take these provinces. You give me a disgusting sum of money. And then I use Holy War to clean up the rest of it. How does that sound? Because that sounds appropriate to me. Alright, Tafelal, so you can have this one province. And the glorious moment has come, where we now form Spain in here, uh, diplomatically. I think we're ready for this. Yes, please give me those new Spanish ideas. Mmm, beautiful. Beautiful Spain, I can become an empire, like I rightfully should. And I'm in the hole for Diplo, because I just, like, took a bunch of extra provinces. Anyways. Um, sure, missionary strength, I'll take that. Alright, so, how's my governing capacity feeling? A little bit better, because I've increased my government rank, actually, so not so bad. Um, wow, okay, looks like we're doing <laughs> just fine, actually. I would have expected us to take a lot more damage from something like that, but... Uh, no, we're actually fine. We start to get a little little dangerous when I start to core things like this, but... Um, we're okay for now. Just having, uh, you know, Spain cord and all that. Okay, I'm gonna want to reorganize the ships and all that. Because this is just a giant mess I've created. I'm not even sure which ships are originally mine, which one are 
Which ones are Aragons? I, I don't really know. It's also my new troops to deal with and, and all that stuff, but I think that's where we're going to leave it off for today. So, we conquered a good portion of the Congo. Uh, we grew one of our vassals. We became Spain. We're thick. I mean... <laughs> uh, pretty, pretty sizable, yeah. Pretty massive. In terms of dev and all that. And Holy War, of, of course, it just comes back again. Uh, but there we go. Beautiful stuff, wouldn't you say? Uh, but for now, this is Corbett signing off. Hoping you enjoyed the episode. And as always, have a fantastic day. I'd like to take a moment to thank all of the wonderful patrons you see up on screen. Starting with the general tier, with Quiet Guy, Brennan Arsenault, Torvald, and Farron. Those in the Prince tier, Natsuki, Rockbox2020, and TFLJ Martis. Those in the King tier, Chewy Shoot and Corbite. In the Elector tier, Drunk Binary. And in the Conqueror of Worlds tier, The Watcher. Thank you guys so much for your pledges this month. It means a lot to me, and you're helping to move this channel forward much more than you know. Truly, I cannot thank you guys enough.